The fourth Sunday of Advent. Cradle and cross are connected on this fourth Sunday of Advent between a lovely tribute to the little town of Bethlehem and Mary's magnificent song of praise. The letter to the Hebrews remind us of no uncertain terms that Christ's Advent is for the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. It is the kind of tension in which the church always lives when, in holy communion, with high delights, we proclaim the Lord's death. A reading from Micah. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, you are the little clan of Judah. From you shall come forth from me, one who is to rule in Israel, whose origins is from of old, from the ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the country hillside where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord. And my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever.